Dungeons. I just turned off the light for you to see how the place was without light. Alright, so first of all, let's come together. I'm going to tell you what happened in here. And if you have anything to say, also you do that, then after you can put your candles at any place you want to put it. So, brothers and sisters, the female dungeons. We have two rooms for women this room and the other room over there. And please, here, we had a male and a female dungeon. They didn't have any dungeon for infant and adult. So both old and young were kept in one space. So I'll tell you the age range. The age range in here was between 13 to about 45. Look at this age bracket critically. Look at it very critically. 13 to 45. So the thing is, how can you build an economy without this age bracket? So Africa was left with people nearing their retirement. Can you build an economy with people nearing their retirement? No. So for more than 300 years, the strong men and women, the smartest this continent, the best this continent needed, was moved away from here. Because I think this, if we should survive the conditions from where you were captured, to the dungeons. If you survived the dungeons, if you survived the ships, if you survived the plantation farms. Yeah, so as I said, you represent our ancestors. And if anybody should tell you that Africans were only taken away from here to the new world for their bodies, that person is telling you a lie. They took us here, from here to the new world, also for our knowledge. I'll give you one typical example. Um, it's the Africans who taught the Europeans how to cultivate rice in the New World. So now they take Africans from certain regions where they had the technical know-how to cultivate rice. So they were taken there to do that. And again, when we look at the conditions in the dungeons for the women, it was worse. Because for whatever the men experience, the women here experience, the women experience something extra. So again, it happened that the death rate among the women was higher than the men. Because think about this, when women had their menstrual period in these dungeons, they did not get any clean or proper wash. So many died through diseases and infections. It didn't even end there. Many of them were victims of rape and sexual assault. They were raped by the Europeans in the dungeons, they were raped on the plantation farms, they were raped on the ships. So these are some of the hard ordeal and brutalities of barbaric conditions our great, 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 great grandmothers had to endure. So we are here today to represent them. We are here today to show appreciation for their strength. We are here to say that we thank them for not giving up. We are experiencing worse conditions, but they experience worse than us. We always pray that they guide us through our life and endeavor and should strengthen us to keep on with the struggle. If anyone has something to say, also you can say that then. You can put the candles. Anybody have anything you'd like to share? As a family, once it's finished, we're going to proceed to the door of no return. Hey. Hey. 